Right, we've got a question here where we've got 4 divided by an unknown x. We don't know what it is. Plus 4 times a half equals 10. The first thing we should do is just get all the numbers to the other side. And we know that before we're allowed to add or subtract, we need to do multiply. So let's write it just as we have it here. 4 divided by x. 4 times a half is plus 2. So this gives us, this part here is the first bit we work out. 4 divided by x plus 2 equals 10. Now I want to get the x's all by themselves. So what I would do now is I would do minus 2 from both sides. Whatever I do in my equation, I have to do the same thing to both sides. So here I'd get 4 divided by x plus 2 minus 2 equals 10 minus 2. The plus 2 minus 2 has now gone to 0, giving us 4 divided by x equals 8. 10 minus 2 equals 8. So I want to think of what number can I divide 4 by to get 8 as my answer. Well, I know that if I divide 4 by a half, I'd get 8. So the answer to what x is, is a half. Let's use our algebra skills to solve that. I don't want to know what x is down here. I want x up here on the top. And when x is on the bottom of a divide, I can't really do much with it. So let's multiply both sides by x. And notice, in English terms, an x there, that sort of x always means a time sign. And this sort of x means it's an algebra x. We call it a squirrely x, okay? So I'm multiplying both of my sides of the equation by x. So what will I get then? I get 4 divided by x times x equals... 8x. The x's here cancel. x divided by x is 1. And I get 4 equals 8x. So if I know that 4 equals 8x, I don't want to know what 8 lots of x are. I want to know what 1 lot of x is. So I divide both of my sides of the equation by 8 here. 8 divided by 8 gives me 1 here. 4 divided by 8 equals a half. So I get here my answer, x equals a half. So that's working it out, just putting the numbers in to get 8. This is working it out using your algebra skills. You can work it out like this in 7th and 8th grade. You'd be expected to be able to work it out like this when you get into 9th grade. Okay? Then we've got um, another one that's a little bit similar here. The one after that one. where we have x plus 4 times 2.5 minus 2.5 divided by 5 equals 15. We do the same thing here, but first of all we work out all the sums and just ignore the x. So we're not allowed to do anything with addition and subtraction, but we are supposed to uh, uh, multiply and divide first. 4 times 2.5, that would give us 10. 2.5 divided by 5, that would give us a half equals 15. Now we want to get rid of all the numbers and work out what x is. So if I was going to get rid of this plus 10, I'd have to do minus 10 from both sides. Or I can actually work out this first. 10 minus a half is 9.5. So I get x plus 9.5 equals 15. 15. Now I don't want to know what x plus 9.5 is, I want x by itself, so I subtract 9.5 from both sides. So I get x plus 9.5 minus 9.5, giving me the zero that I want here, I want to get rid of this number here, equals 15 minus 9.5. 9.5 minus 9.5 is 0. So x equals 15 minus 9.5. That's going to be 5.5. Giving me my solution for x. So step by step using your methods of algebra.